Hi friends, so 15 years ago in June of 2007, I got the very first iPhone. I've been a Mac guy since 1987, 1988, when I was a college student at Washington Baptist University. So I am an Apple guy, an Apple fanboy. I've loved everything they've done except for maybe the Apple Watch. Tried it, didn't like it, have a Samsung watch. But <clears throat> I have been waiting anxiously for the new iteration of the iPhone, iPhone 14. I have been not been a fan of Face ID at all. Hate facial ID. Tried it, don't like it, don't like all the flipping up and all this kind of stuff. Like my home button. So I was hoping that I got to keep my home button. The new iterations of the iPhone don't keep the home button. There's nothing offered. In fact, my iPhone SE is pretty much the same thing as the iPhone 6 just with better innards. And that seems to be all that Apple has offered. Here in the last few years, there's not much innovation. It's just innovation with the software, not the hardware. So um, I pulled the trigger and I am telling Tim Cook goodbye for a while as far as the phone goes. And I have ordered the Asus Zenfone 9. So I'm going to unbox it, give you my first impressions, and then I'll be posting later just about uh, my experience of switching from an iPhone to an Android after having been with the iPhone for 15 years. So here we go. So first impressions. Very Apple-like. Packaging is pretty nice. It feels a lot like one of the Apple iPhone boxes. It's got this uh, clever nine on the box. So here we go. I am a little um, persnickety about my electronics. I keep all of my original boxes. Um, Carolyn was laughing at me about this earlier tonight at supper. She thinks it's ridiculous that I keep all my technology boxes. All right, so here we go. So just like Apple, you have the cardboard shell with just the little thumb tab here to pull it away. So we're gonna pull this away and it feels like there's stuff in this, so probably manuals and things like that, but let's dive in and let's pop out this phone. So, just like Apple, it comes wrapped in this thin piece of cellophane. It feels nice and hefty, feels substantial, doesn't feel cheap. Um, let's pull away the plastic wrapping here. Ooh, interesting. So it's got two large lenses on the back for the camera. The front is really nice. Uh, and the back has some kind of um, texture, texture back to it. Definitely easy to hold. Let's see what else is in the box before I power on the phone. Still feels a little heavy. So, a lot of you Apple people will know that these days Apple doesn't ship with its cable or its charger anymore, but the Asus Zenfone ships with the charger, the charging cable, and it looks like it's USB-C. So I've got everything unpacked, and I'll be turning the iPhone, oh, sorry, the Asus Zenfone on, and uh, I'll post about my experience.